everyone, today we're doing a creative on location portrait photo shoot and I have the Sony a7C with the Samyang 35mm f1.8 that we'll be using today. Today our model is Steph and Dan is behind the camera filming today's behind the scenes. We're gonna get started and I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. Feel free to move around as much as you want and you can like look at the camera and look away. It's cool. Yeah, I love the smiling shots. <laughs> Speaking of the Sony a7C, I've been loving using it recently. I've been filming some fun vlogs with it, which will be coming out really soon. So I'm super excited to share that all with you guys. Do you wanna try, maybe you could like kind of hold the leaf. For this photo shoot, I wanted to do something quite casual looking, so we went for simple styling with a vintage tee and a pair of jeans. I found this cool old building with sandstone walls and a little park nearby, so I feel like this shoot is super attainable for anyone, even if you're looking to go out and take some photos with your friends. For the full body shots, I really like kind of like casual, if you just kind of like pace around, you can even kick your legs and swing your arms and stuff, like a little bit of movement. Right, perfect. Those are awesome. I love those. Um, I actually just noticed this. Would yeah. you mind sitting on that? Sure. How would you like me to sit? Um, maybe just like with your legs kind of like yeah. that. And try and get a little bit of like backlight here as well. Oh, that looks so cool there. The first thing I noticed with the Samyang 35 1.8 is the size and weight. It is a super tiny lens and really light as well, which would make it so convenient for travel or using it as a daily lens. Especially paired with the a7C, which is also a small and lightweight camera, it was like the perfect combination to be shooting with. Actually, that'd be cool if you maybe rest your head on your hand. Cool. And then maybe your other arm, if you kind of put it like just down in your lap. <laughs> just try and <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you got that. It looks really natural. <laughs> That's super cool. I love how we have like the building in the background too. It looks really interesting. Oh, we got the sun back. <laughs> Alright, perfect. And then let's head over there into that little patch of sunlight. Do you want to try some with your shirt tucked in as well? Sure. So maybe if you stand... Actually, just where you are there is nice. It's like a little bit of sunlight, not too much. I tried this lens on both the a7C and the a7 III and found the autofocus was quite different between both cameras. On the a7 III, I felt like the autofocus was a little bit slower and less accurate and the IAF wasn't keeping up with Steph's eye. On the a7C, on the other hand, it was completely different due to the camera's updated and newer autofocus system. I had focus tracking set up and it kept up without an issue throughout the entire photo shoot, even in harsher backlit conditions. I'm gonna get some closer up ones here too. The lighting is so pretty right now. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> And then let's go a little bit closer to the tree too. So I feel like maybe if you stand with your head just kind of there. With autofocus accuracy, we did a series of shots where Steph was sitting down and not moving around too much. Out of 22 photos, 19 of them were sharp on the eyes. 
The accuracy was still pretty much the same when we tried out the same thing in harder conditions with a backlit spot and Steph moving around. Out of 28 photos, 23 were sharp on the eyes. Do you want to try, maybe if you put your hands in your back pocket, you can kind of like look over your shoulder at me? Yeah, that's cool. I'm sure you can see now that I've shared a few of the photos that we took, but the bokeh is another thing that really caught my eye. It looks so clean and well-defined, and I just really, really like what the bokeh looks like. I wanted to try one under yeah. there as well and see what we can get. Yeah. Oh, what if you like lean your shoulder on that column? I'll get like a full body shot first. And then I think we might also try like a walking towards me shot. So I'll walk that way and <laughs> watch out. <laughs> You can do like a little spin if you feel like it. <laughs> That's cool. Maybe we can go out that way a little bit more yeah. as well. Even though we were shooting backlit quite a lot, I didn't notice much chromatic aberration. The only time you can barely see it is in the backlit shots we took towards the end of the shoot in her hair, but I feel like it's not really that noticeable unless you zoom into 100% and actually look for it. And again, like I always say, it is super easy to get rid of in Lightroom as well. Then maybe we should get one in like the full sun, kind of like where that doggy is right now. <laughs> Oh, I like that with like the wind, it looks quite moody. <laughs> and finally, with image quality, I have to say I really like what the final images look like straight out of the camera. Each of the portraits have so much detail, which you can really see in the 100% crops of the photos. In one of the last close-up photos, you can even clearly see me in the reflection of Steph's iris. Awesome. Alright, and then let me get a close up as well. I can't see, the sun's so bright. <laughs> Do you use this? Okay. I'm gonna get a nice and close. <laughs> It could have also been because of the location, but I feel like the raw photos looked really punchy and vibrant as well, but not in an overwhelming way. I also just had a normal picture profile set up on the A7C and shot in both raw and JPEG. Oh, I like that. Yeah, sometimes I like it with like some wispy bits of hair and stuff. It looks really cool. So that is it for our on location portrait photo shoot today. I would love to know which ones were your favorite photos down in the comments below. I also wanna say a huge thank you to Steph and Dan for being part of today's photo shoot too. I'll leave both their Instagrams linked in the description below. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I'll see you all next time. Bye.